Hi everybody. In this episode, David has to repair one of the furling blocks as it uh, broke during a jibe. And then he learns how to t pilot the boat out of dock for the first time. Harry experience. And at the end of the day, he took mom out for a sail and dinghy. Hey everybody, so uh, our Selden furler, uh, I don't know what those are called, line blocks or something, but uh, it basically uh, snapped our old one in half. We caught the um, the sheet on it and uh, we didn't we didn't realize it and it pulled back actually so hard that it broke, yeah. um, it actually broke the uh, this little block. So, so David's going to be installing the, the new one. He's got to get it on and then uh, backfish uh, the furling line through it. Yeah, I just have to open it and then snap it on and put the bolt in. It's pretty easy. Okay. What are those screws for then? I have no clue actually. And what, where, where would they be on the other one? Uh, oh, I think they're just to lock the block so it doesn't move. Okay. So you put them in there. Looks like it. Kind of makes sense, eh? Yeah, so it like doesn't flip by It doesn't turn around. You kind of stiffen it up after it, so you put those two screws in last, eh? Mm -hmm. Okay, go for it. There's like an imprint on where the old one was, so I know where to put it. So sometimes uh, on a jibe, uh, when we go from starboard to port, uh, the actual um, sheet for the jib gets caught underneath this block if we don't keep enough tension on the line. And uh, I missed it uh, this time or one time, and uh, it actually uh, had so much pressure that it cleaved the block in half. Uh, so we had a fair amount of wind, I guess. Um, and then uh, it basically uh, broke the furler line. It was basically hanging. So uh, David's here is just fixing it up by replacing the block. It's pretty tight. So now I have two screws here that can go on either side of the Lock. One here and one here. Uh, and that way, this part doesn't swivel or turn around. It'll stay nice and close. And then I'll pull this wire or this rope all the way back and uh, fish it through. And oof, almost dropped the screw. <laughs> and now it's all fully installed. I just gotta pull the rope back. You can see we're pulling out. So now over here, did you look behind you? Are you watching what's going on? No. <laughs> you gotta watch what's going on there so you don't hit anything. So now you're gonna want to turn hard to the right and go forward. Okay. Yep. Forward first, hard to the right. Hard to the right. So you 
look here, that should say about 25. Okay, now straighten this out. over to the left. To the right. I heard them all bring the kids bring. I brought in now, so there's nothing going on there. To go straight. Straight, straight. Yeah, straighten this out. That's okay. Keep going straight and then you're gonna turn before the buoy. Slow it down a little bit. No no you're okay. I'm just trying to check the RPM here. Controller temperature is 34. Can I turn now? A little higher? Yeah, go ahead and turn. Yep, turn. Keep an eye out for the boats. Touch higher on the speed. That's good there. So what note is that in piano? Remember that hum. That's the hum you want to shoot for. Keep going. Cut the cut the power. Power up. Okay. Fall over. Put the motor back on. <coughs> Stressed? Yeah. You did good. <laughs> so we're uh, testing out this new mainsail. That's the point of today, and we're seeing if we can get this sail going the right way. So, doing a couple of tests here. So we've got the new um, fans on the motor controller, so we can see we're running at a nice 37 degrees Celsius. We've got uh, five knots of wind, and we're moving at uh, 1.7 knots of boat speed here, with uh, 500 watts on the uh, on the motor so it's a pretty easy sail two knots now 2.2 see we're slowly getting there No, 
managed to navigate through all these guys, hey David? That's good. Okay, I'm aiming at the corner. Coming in. Cutting. How's that? Good. Straight. Yeah, I can that. Okay. Is on. Is on. Thank you. Well, that was a good sail test with the new sail. The only thing is, is that uh, it's a bit baggy here at the back, and bringing it down here on the jack lines, it flopped over. So I'm gonna to have to take the jack lines and maybe move it back a little bit here, so I'll figure out something. Downwind, David. Yeah, I know. I was watching where the wind was. I'm so confused. The wind's coming this way. Yeah. Take her out. 